Hey guys, this is Jamal with GospelMusicians.com, and I'm sorry I've been a little quiet lately, but as you know, as I always say, if I'm quiet, that means I'm working on something big, and this next big thing is Medicalous 4.0. Uh, the number one question by far within the last couple months that I've been getting through my emails and through uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter and everything else is what are those keys that you're using for your videos? Where well, those keys that we're using is through a software called Medicalous that we produce. So we are we don't just do lessons. We actually produce the software and a musical software. So we wanted to wait to do this video because we we're in the process of launching Medicalous 4.0, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how to use Zoom, Ecamm, through Zoom to do lessons to your students, okay? Coming back at you. Medicalous. Okay, this is going to be an in-depth video. If you have any questions, please put them in the description. So we are going to start from scratch on how to completely use Ecamm into Zoom to shoot live Zoom lessons that had, that shows the keys and the chords and everything. Uh, with this COVID, everybody's been asking me this. Is, this is probably the number one requested video. And like I said, I apologize for not doing it. I did not want to demonstrate Medicalous 3.0. I wanted to demonstrate Medicalous 4.0 because that's the one that we're coming out with coming this uh, Black Friday. So without further ado, let's get into this. The first thing we want to do is to open up Medicalous. And this is our new 4.0 interface. Um, all vector based, beautiful, everything's there. And I have a Yamaha montage right here that I am using to uh, interface in that. I plugged the USB out of my montage into the computer. And what I have to do in Medicalous is to go into settings and then I have to go to my MIDI sources and I refresh. And as you can see, the montage is already selected. For my audio output device, I'm actually going to uh, use, uh, we could use a Zoom driver, but it really doesn't matter. We can use the ensemble. So there we go there. So now that this is connected through the MIDI sources, I should be able to hit a note. And what I want to do, this is the actual, what we added in Medicalous 4.0. This is the input. So we have a dedicated MIDI input. I want no sound on this one so that the sound will actually be from my keyboard. So, okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this over here for now and we're gonna load up our trusty Ecamm Live. You ask me why are we using Ecamm Live? Because Ecamm Live has a better way to funnel things inside of zoom okay so here you see my interface and this is me now i'm going to show you what this really looks like because this is already set up so let me let me exit out this lut right here and that's what i look like i have a a, a, a video uh camera so it requires coloring and luts but i make my own luts so if you know anything about that and you want my luts go ahead and have them so the first thing we need to do is we go up into Ecamm. And so as you can see, I have sources here, different sources. This is my iMac, but I'm choosing the one directly into my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Okay, that's what I'm using for this. And so this is what it looks like. It has all of the stuff right here. I'm using this. This can act as a virtual camera to funnel into zoom so the first thing I you want to do which is very important is you go into your preferences and what you want to do is go to screen sharing uh, and you want to um, video there is an option here to show you can show mouse clicks include the mouse cursor 
Um, here's where you can include the desktop picture or include the desktop icons. We click these off so those can actually be black. Okay, that's very important. And so, and streaming, we're 4K, uh, audio, fine, screen sharing, Facebook, this is where you, uh, the account in general. So we're good right here. Now, in order to get my picture looking good, I have some LUTs here. This actually allows you to load in LUTs. What LUTs are, are what does it stand for? Look, uh, looks, lookup table. So basically, it's a configuration of colors that you can use that pop out. So I have my custom LUTs. So I select the LUTs that I use and I use this Rec 709 and bow it pops the color out all right I use high quality here and I have full blown on the LUT I can go all the way up or I can just adjust it down but I go full pop color okay so what we're going to do now we got our ecam set up right we're good now it's time to go back to Mediculous so this is what we can do in Mediculous now I have two screens here so you're able to see both screens all right so what I'm going to do in Mediculous Let's pop these things out. This is something you can do in version 4.0. Okay, version 4.0 allows you to right click and say detach keys. All right, these are way too big. And let me make this smaller. All right, I can dynamically resize the keys any way I want to. All right, and so I right click here and detach the cord. And I right click here, detach the score, bam. And so now we have this, I can minimize this. Now, just to add some cool stuff, let's go to, now everything you wanna do on Mediculous, you right click to do pretty much. So let's right click and go to show, and let's show the pitch mod, all right? We can show the pitch mod right here, all right? Let's take this to size. Let's take this to a 61 key. So we can really make this big. Actually, let's hide that. And let's make this really, really big. So you can really get an over-exaggeration of these keys. And so let's bring this down here. And let's do this. Make these big. All right. And then what we do, we make this big. And we can kind of make it, eh, let's do something like this. I like to put it here. Let's, uh, let's resize this. And then uh, we resize this about right like this. Actually, let's do something here. Let's do this. And let's resize this like that. I'm trying to make it look kind of decent. All right, so let's do that. Now, um, here's something we can do with our Mediculous. Let's right click and foreground color. Let's make it white. Background color, let's make it black. And then let's right click here and say same as score. So it uses the same as a score. So as you can see, we went very detailed and these keys are very big and this Sustain pedal is very, very big, and so we play. So actually, let's switch this up. Put the chords up here. Let's go over here. Let's do this, and then now we can kind of make this a little smaller. Let's stretch this out about right there. Bam, now we're looking good, okay? Now we're looking good. So, now, um, they just added a new feature in Ecamm, which allows you to, so let's look at this. Bam, all right, we set this up. So we have everything that a student would want to see. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over to our Ecamm, and let's go picture in picture. All right. Let's uh let's hit this. And now you can see I got the picture in picture, 
right here and I can adjust this size here and you know what let's make this even bigger let's just over so what happens is it adjusts per the screen I don't like it fully but I'll, I'll take it I, I'd rather you be able to adjust it uh, I'd rather you be able to adjust it um, on the screen but this is fine so here is what someone would see in zoom so this is how your lessons would look super big keys super big keys all right and so that's what you do now let's open up zoom We're opening up zoom and this is our zoom let's go to I'm gonna make a new meeting okay and uh, join with audio here is zoom and this is what my zoom looks like uh, looks like it's reversed or upside down or something so here's my zoom meeting let me go into here let me mirror alright there we go and let's rotate and yeah, we don't want to do that let's D in a so use 4k so for some reason so this is my zoom look here So for some reason that is upside down and but you can see it's a screen in a screen that's why it's doing that so this right now is the zoom meeting so it let me close let me minimize that and minimize that so for some reason these over here are reversed so I'm sure there's an option over here to do a reverse on the screen which I haven't found yet but obviously that's probably an option so basically this is what people are going to see on the screen and this is the let me close this down this is the zoom and we do a back to new meeting and it looks like this so this is the full screen. This is Ecamm into Zoom. And this is what your lessons would look like. Uh, I will come back to you on why this is reversed. But I think all I have to do is, let's see, second display. Yeah, that's second display. And show crop. Um, probably there's a something on the display that allows me to reverse it so I will get with um, Ecamm and see if they can uh, tell me how what I'm doing wrong but uh, either way here guys this is uh, a lot this is what they see this is what your people will see you can shoot the destination here to YouTube you can shoot the destination to Twitch to Facebook to Periscope so I just wanted to shoot this video to show you guys that this is what the lessons will look like to your students and I got the complete look right here I got my chords here I could change the colors and I got everything really big full HD full 4k display super duper big if you want to over exaggerate this a little more just to be silly with it you could still make it even bigger and it's super huge really over exaggerated but I just wanted you to see how big we can really do this stuff and this is how you can use our Medicalous 4.0 to push from Ecamm into Zoom to do live lessons. Another thing we do, just another feature I wanted to ask, we can do 
uh, we can pin this so it doesn't move we could pin these and as you can see I can't move it and I can say always on top so that means that they're always on top so no matter what other interface I scroll over here it's always going to be on top we specifically designed Mediculous 4.0 for you teachers who want to do Zoom lessons in this COVID time, this crazy COVID time. So we wanted to show you it's not out yet. I know it's a teaser. We will release this around Black Friday. So here's an introduction to Mediculous 4.0 from GospelMusicians.com, how to use Ecamm to funnel in live videos into Zoom. Coming back at you. Mediculous.com.